What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl here. So I just want to talk to you real quick about um, Leslie's um, reaction, um, part one and part two. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Keep it 100. I watched both, you know, reactions as she was talking. And you can tell by her talking about it, she still feels hurt in a way. And you mean to tell me Clarence didn't you know break it off completely with her he said he just wanted space and that he's just trying to you know do videos with her to get his channel together whatever he did it for first of all I, I feel in my heart that he knew he wasn't gonna mess with Leslie like that you get what I'm saying and she's a sweet girl and she's gonna meet somebody I don't know if she, I don't know her personal life but she's gonna meet somebody that's going to know her words because she's, she's a smart girl. She's pretty. You know, she carried herself well from what I see. She didn't bash anybody. She spoke wonderful, you know. But you can tell that she's kind of hurt and she still have to heal from all of this. I don't like the fact that he put her business out there like that. It pisses me off because he didn't have to do that. That's her business to tell if she wanted people to know about her health issues. That was her business to tell, not his. Okay, so I feel as if he owe her an apology for doing that. Because you want to clear your name? I understand that. And some people said, but he didn't do it intentionally. But still, that wasn't his business to tell people about her health issues. That's her story. If she wanted us to know, he, she would have told us. And my thing is this. <laughs> so he did all this happen. And he was with Queen. And then that's when she started noticing, like, Okay, this is, it's getting raunchier. The videos are getting, you know, raunchier and raunchier, whatever. And I just feel like, you know, how you lose them, how you get them, sorry, how you get a guy is how you lose them. And I feel as if Queen should watch out. Maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not next week, maybe not next year, but I feel in my heart that if somebody with a bigger name, more money, come along, I do believe Clarence will go for it and leave her in the, in the dust. And my mother always taught me how, how you get someone is how you lose them, especially in a situation. You know, he told Leslie that he needed space. If he knew that he wasn't, he didn't want to be with her, he should have just broke it off completely. You know, he's probably going to do a reaction to hers and be like, notice that how it went. I believe her. This is her story. And it is what it is. I feel kind of bad for her, you know, because she went through that. She was with this guy for five years. So she know, she know him better than anybody. She, she know him better than Queen do. So I'm glad she told her story. Um, we already know she didn't write these books, but she gave her opinion and she gave her, her story on what happened with her and Clarence. And as she should, I was kind of worried that she wasn't going to do it and it was going to get to her, but I'm glad to see that she did her videos and I support her. I support her. So, um, you know, she's, she's a beautiful young lady and she's going to find somebody who's going to appreciate her worth. It's going to appreciate her. You know, but it just seemed like certain things that she talked about, you could tell it still kind of bothered her. And it bothered me to see her sitting, like, you know, talking about it because she was like, you know, it's like she didn't want to, but she wanted to tell her story. And I'm glad she did. So there's no need to bash that girl. You know, if anything, show her support, show her some love, show her some care. And I'm glad to see there was a lot of support in her comment section and nobody was bashing her that's a good thing that's wonderful so um i thank her for sharing her story because you just never know it may help someone else that's in the situation um so it is what it is and a lot of things you know she said another thing that was important too that her and claire used to watch chris and queen on youtube but I didn't. Rem I remember him saying that he didn't watch Queen or something like that. He didn't watch her videos. I don't know, but 
He did. He did. So I'm just just want to come in real quick and say, you know, I I support her and I'm glad she told her story. It's just that <laughs> I really want to say he ain't ish, <laughs> you know. But you know, he mm, I just don't like the way he moved. He moved mad funny, and it wasn't no reason for that. If you didn't want to be with her, he could have just broke it off and said, you know what, it's over between us. I want to do my own thing, and that was that. But you're going to say you need space, but yet you with the next girl making videos, and then y'all videos are getting, you know, crazier. And so he did say in his one of his reaction videos that he didn't spend much time in the basement because he was never there. But I think Leslie said that she was staying with him in the basement. So it just, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm glad she told her story. How do you guys feel about Leslie's story? Do you think, you know, um, how do you feel about it just in general? I, it's a good thing that she spoke, finally spoke. It was time, you know, it was time because people was putting stuff on her saying that she wrote the book and she did this. I don't think she, she didn't write that book. I'm not going to say I don't think she did. She didn't write the book, but she told her story on her on her channel. So that's that. But anyway, you guys, I'm out. Um, the last final chapter of the book is coming out soon. Tell All Books just dropped the last chapter. I think it's called um, Sacrifices. You'll see the, in my commentary, you'll see the picture of the book there. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm not going to read it. I'll listen to it, but um, I have nothing to say about it. So Leslie came through and she said what she had to say and that's that. So you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later.